Eric Foner is DeWitt Clinton Professor of History at Columbia University here in New York. He's one of this country's most prominent historians and the foremost expert on the Civil War and Reconstruction eras. One of the things that we're seeing also on campuses, but not just there, is a discussion about monuments. Yes. About, you know, tributes to Confederate leaders or right. slave owners. Um, the, that discussion and the decision to, to bring down the Confederate flag in lots of places, does that lead you to think we're in a different place when it comes to the way we're dealing with Well, Spanish you know, on the one hand, there are people who say, hey, this is just symbolism, man. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't mean a thing. They took down the Confederate flag in South Carolina, which they should have. It should not be flying in a public space, which is supposed to represent the entire state. Uh, and yet, you know, they won't extend Medicaid. And there are deep racial inequalities still in South Carolina, obviously. Yeah. So it's symbolic. Symbolism is important. But on the other hand, you can't uh, have it for dinner, you know. And uh, social... So should you bring down the monuments on the campuses? Uh, it depends. They should in some cases. I would be in favor of changing the name, let's say, of Calhoun College at Yale. Why should Yale have a college named after the number one propagandist in the United States for slavery and racial inferiority before the Civil War? This would be like having a college named after Goebbels, the <laughs> propagandist of the Nazis. I don't think they have too many of them in Germany anymore. Real, the point is monuments, flags, these are not just history. They are expressions of power. Who has the power to shape the public mm. representation of history? 